Hi everyone, welcome. Cannot wait to share our story, how we met me and Lydia. I know a lot of y'all don't really know, so this is your chance to find out, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if we do not answer all the questions, we wanna let you know that we are going to be doing a Q&A. So if you comment below right now, shoot some questions out there that you want me to answer, Lydia to answer, a little bit about us, feel free to do that now. But starting off, here goes Lydia, since she loves to talk so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can start. I can tell how I met Josie because okay. that was the first one in this family that I met and we did like a photo shoot in Orlando and just really hit it off. So I did like two more photo shoots with her around the fall last year. We just shot like a full day. So I basically just kind of moved into her house for like three, four days because it was more convenient than if I travel back and forth to my apartment and we were just having so much fun. And we just really clicked. So she was like, you know what? I really should set you up with one of my brothers. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I don't really want to be set up. Because <laughs> to me, that's really awkward. It but is. she was like, why not? Like, I look, you know, she showed me a picture of you and shared a little bit of what you do. <laughs> and she was like, it won't be awkward. We can just like hang out at her house one right. evening. So like, I'm at work and Josie's like, Trace. I have this perfect girl for you. And I'm like, this is kind of out of the blue, but does it surprise me? Josie just like to do that sometimes. She shot, she said, hey, perfect girl. And so I was like, okay, you know, tell me how you met her, send me a picture, a little bit about her, how do you know her? And she was like, met her, you know, a year ago almost, really great girl, Christian girl, and is a photographer. And I think y'all would really hit it off. And I was like, oh, you know, I don't really don't like being set up either i don't want to go on dates it's just awkward it is, is right awkward. so i was like you know let's do something at her house and then awkward kelton and josie are there i'll bring some of my brothers and we can just have a good time so i was like okay after church after i get off work let's go over to josie and kelton's house i think y'all are still doing a photo shoot so they're running late so i got there after church just hanging out there with I think Warden came with us. Me and him seem like we run around everywhere together. I have him. You really do. Yes, yes, we do. <laughs> but no, just sitting there, and I still remember Lydia walking in the door. And my first thought was, like, okay, wow, she is gorgeous. But also, she was super tall. And I was like, I wonder if I'm as tall as her. <laughs> so it kind of stood up just to just to see where I was. <laughs> I did not notice you doing that. No. <laughs> That's no so funny. But it was fun. We just sat in there, Josie and Calton, and me and Warden, and we just kind of just talked, had a great time. A little bit about our family, a little bit about, about hers, but was great, and I feel like what I picked up right off the start was, you know, she shared about how she came from Germany mm -hmm. and the US. So I don't know if you want to share a little bit about that right now. I can do a very small summary of it. Okay, you grew up in Germany? Yeah, so I grew up in Germany, and when I was like second grade, my parents decided they wanted to homeschool us, so they took us out of the public school and it's illegal in Germany, and so it blew up into this whole thing, and we ended up having to leave the country, so we ended up living like in Morristown, which is an hour from where he's from, and That's I moved here because so I was like 10, with yeah. my two sentences that I could say, as like I said, I'm a girl, and where's the bathroom? <laughs> what was crazy is because like years ago, I remember all the churches praying for a family that moved from Germany. Come to find out, it is actually her, her family. So that was cool to put two and two together. But I felt like for me, just listening, the way that she was talking about how she had to just trust God in situations like that, because she don't know when or if they have to go back to Germany or whatever, they're not citizens. I know there's a lot more questions you have to this, and so we cannot wait to answer more, but that's a long story for another day. But. Just listen to her and just the way she's trusting God in these incidents and situations. I know there was times she didn't have her license. She had to work, walk to work for a long time. And that's that's hard. So it's really cool just to see. Now, so it was really fun just sitting there. And I remember chatting and it was crazy. I was like, wow, that girl has been through a lot and everything about her family. And I, I found out she was a really good photographer. Josie showed me some of her photos. And I'm super adventurous, so it was, it was really fun because I know we talked about hiking and horse riding and kayaking and stuff like that and things that you like to do. Skydiving yeah. experience. Skydiving. We do need to do that together one day, maybe. Oh, I know. But it was a lot of fun. And I know, like, Kelton had to get up work at, like, 5. Josie had to get I had to get up. Me and Warden had to get up and go to work. She was supposed to be leaving. 
and we ended up staying. I think we just chatted till it was close to three o'clock. It really was. We were just at the end watching YouTube videos. Yes. But I feel like it wasn't it wasn't awkward. It was a lot of fun. It felt like we clicked right off the bat. But of course, you never know. You just you just met someone. So I was like, hey, you know, we got some horses. I know we mentioned horse riding. So she was like, oh, that's something I would love to do. I was like, hey, maybe, you know, if you're free tomorrow evening, let's go do it. So I got her number and we chatted the next day, but long story short, she had to get home. So it did not work out. So I'm like, okay, she no like me. <laughs> wow. It was so dark. I was up till three in the morning. I could not have had a normal conversation next day. So I was like, I gotta go home. So. We can do this another day. And that, that weekend, we were like, oh, hey, we can do that weekend. But that weekend I was actually going to Nashville. Some of my buddies would go to skydiving. So it didn't work out, but we we're like, hey, when I get back in town, let's do something. But uh, long story short, I get over into Nashville and my brother called and he told me there was a hurricane just happened in Haiti. And I worked for a volunteer organization called Medicor that uh, does disaster relief. And so right when he called, I was like, okay, our team is going. So I think it was six or seven of us going and packed our bag and we were gone just like that. And so I was like, okay, sorry, Lydia. We were chatting a little bit through the day. I was like, sorry, you know, I'm not gonna be back. I don't know when I'm gonna be back. But it, it was really amazing, an amazing trip. Uh, the devastation over there was, was just terrible. But I felt like all the people we got to save and hearing the stories and stuff was amazing. Being a part of something like that, being able to save lives. And it was really nice because we were still talking throughout the evenings and really long days, being able to text her and just you know share about what we were doing, working in hospitals, going to different villages and stuff like that. And she seemed like she really cared. And that meant so much because there were so many people that were hurting. And it, it really does matter when people care. You were at the beach, right? I was at the beach. I felt really bad <laughs> at the beach. Cause you would share all these stories of saving these lives and all these crazy experiences. And I was just at the beach. At this point, we just started, like we just started talking for a week. Yeah, we so still I, hadn't. I know, yeah. Lost and Nathan were like, hey, are you talking to someone? Like, who are you texting? But I, no one really knew. Kind of was like, oh, let's just wait and see if this goes somewhere. Yeah, because we'd not gone on our first date. Right. Yeah. So we get back from Haiti. I get back from a week, about a week. And we're like, hey, let's go do that, that horse riding we, we were talking about doing. And I think it worked out. She's about an hour from me. And she was gonna do a photo shoot for Hazel, her baby photos, back when Hazel was little. She was so cute. It was so, so cute. So we did the photo shoot and I was like, I'll probably be done around noon, a little yeah. later. Maybe go horse riding. Hazel would not go to sleep, which we needed her to for yeah. the photos. So we was like, I was like at like three o'clock, three o'clock rolled around and she was still, still busy. Photos. <laughs> and then four o'clock. And I was like, okay, maybe she's not gonna show up. <laughs> I felt so bad. I, I thought we just didn't really have a specific time. So I didn't think I was like, I was just like, I'm still day But she side. showed up at five o'clock. She was like, hey, I'm on my way. So we went out horse riding. It was, oh, it was so much fun. I love horse riding. I love the country. I love things like that. And so I felt like right in my element. And this was so much fun. I was so out of my element. <laughs> <laughs> I had not been on like a horse in probably 10 years. So it was a lot of just don't fall off. Yes. Riding, we did. We rode the whole the whole farm, and it was like 150 acres, so it was like a lot of riding. And when we got back, she's like, "I lost my phone." But apparently, I just found out. Backstory: I found out she got up to the top of the first cell and remember losing it, but did not want to say it. The, she was yeah, like, I didn't want to. Okay, we there was no way I was gonna tell you. We just met, and it, we just started riding. I didn't want to turn around and go right back <laughs> trying to find my phone. So I was but, like, I'll just tell him later. Yeah. So we went but then walking. we went so many roads and I was like, I don't remember really yeah. where. Yeah. So we actually went and found it and we're like, hey, let's go to Cracker Bell. So we went to Cracker Bell. That was a lot of fun because I felt like that was probably one of the first times that we shared, shared about my family, shared about her family and a little bit about each other. And there's, you know, there's a lot of them. Zach, Michael, Aaron, Lawrence, Lou, Nathan, Alyssa, Toy, Trace, Carly, Josie, Katie, Jackson, Warren, Isaiah, Addie, Ellie, Callie, Judson, and Mom and Dad. So, I shared about every single one of them, and that took the time. 
<laughs> you shared a little bit about your family. You I come know. from a big have, family as well. Yeah, I have three brothers and three sisters. So I'm like the second oldest out of seven kids. So there's nine all together. Yep. So a good amount as well. Lots of siblings to talk about. So overall, that was just a really fun day. And it ended even better is because I do got a, a truck Dodge Cummins. It's a nice truck. I love it. And I've always wanted to know how to drive a manual. And it is a manual. And I never knew someone that could teach me. And so I was like, this is your truck manual? <laughs> and he was like, uh-huh. So like, I really want to know how to drive it. We actually went to like the library par parking lot and she tried to drive it. In a tiny parking lot at night. Yeah, we're going to do a whole video on that. We're I'm just really her driving. Because it's still just as bad. <laughs> I don't think I've gotten better. Hey, I've she didn't wreck the truck, so it was awesome. That was a miracle. <laughs> yeah. So it just seemed like right off the bat, it seemed like we really clicked with each other and mm -hmm. had a lot of things in common with faith and family and active stuff and sports and yeah, pretty much mm -hmm. adventure stuff. We really clicked right off the bat. And I think next week was like, hey, you know, Tennessee football it was right around that time. I was like, you want to go to a game? And she's never been to a football game. I had not. No, so how was that it. experience? I think it was pretty great. I told him I would only come if he actually explained all the rules to football. Because every time I go somewhere or watch it at like a party, people don't explain it. And it makes no sense. <laughs> so I was like, if you explain it, I'll come. And it was really fun. So, so yes, it. yes, football. That was a, a great game. It was a lot of fun. Just chatted pretty much the whole time. Tennessee won, was a blowout, so it was like, it was a really fun game. He was in a great mood. Chat. Yes, I was. <laughs> but just, it, it was really cool because I feel like right off the bat, you know, her faith was so much. She told me like she works in a little church and actually a bigger church, but works in the nursery, loves kids, and loves family and work ethic. She was always taking photos pretty busy editing so she's photography keeps her really busy mm -hmm. so things cool. like that was just really cool just to notice and it seemed like we bonded right off the bat it really it really did so we kept on going and we did for the next week we did went out a couple of times we did so much in those first few weeks it yeah. was so fun yeah it was a lot we would of fun. hang out and then we he would bring some of his brothers and we just it was like a party yeah. it really was so at this point fun to hang out with at you. this point so i met some of your siblings you met some of my siblings and we, we decided, hey, instead of just going to a big old family event, one of our family events, which, you know, all those kids I just named and all their spouses and all the grandkids, there's a lot of them. So we're like, you know what? Let's do a little different. Let's go and meet each family individual and hear about how they met their story. And we can share a little bit of ours. So that was a lot of fun. So I remember we just going from couple to couple. We did. Sometimes we did two couples in one day, yes. which was so fun because I love getting to know new people and that way we could hear each individual person's story. So mm -hmm. I felt like I really knew everyone. And more. then we had a big old birthday party over here. And so then when you came, it felt like you already knew everybody. So that was yeah. a lot of fun. It still looked like a lot of people. It's the first time that I was yes. here with like yes. everyone in one room. And then mom was like, you know, Lydia, I want to go out with you and Trace. So oh mom put you on the spot and we went out and that was fun because we took Jeb and Judd and they are hilarious. They're like, Lydia, why do you like Trace? Like right off the bat and Lydia's like, okay. <laughs> they all took turns asking questions yeah. until they ran out. I was a little, I was sweating. Were you nervous? Yeah, I was nervous because little kids ask anything. There's like nothing that's off the table. What did so my mom ask? I feel like your mom just asked like, getting to know you questions. Did she, did she ask why, why do you like Trace? She did ask why I like Trace. Let's hear some reasons. <laughs> why I like Trace. <laughs> no, just joking. <laughs> but yes, my mom was very curious. Mom was like, I want to make sure y'all both like each other or whatever. Mm -hmm. But that was fun. So you got put on the spot and I felt like my turn was coming next. And so I got put on the spot because I was going to go meet her parents mm -hmm. and go to her family's house. And we went over there. And her mom and dad was like, hey, let's go on a walk and let's chat without Lydia. And I was not invited to the party. <laughs> yeah, you were not. So we went on like, it was a long walk. It was a couple miles. And she had her notebook or little paper with all the things, questions she would ask. But it was really fun. And we just chatted about my story, about my testimony, how I got saved, a little bit about me, what I do. I do full-time construction and 
just stuff like that. And then she shared about how they came over to the US and their story, but it was, a, it was really good. And I felt like I really got to know them so much better. We're just off that, it was really fun. Was and it? I felt like right after that, we just went to playing games and it was just, I felt like Stress we stress reliever after that yeah, talk. <laughs> it really was, but I felt like we hit it off with your parents very well. Your parents are amazing. Lydia has a, a wonderful family. I'm telling you, I love them. They're so much fun. We go over there, play games all I the do. time. I have game nights. Like they make good. Everywhere. They make great food, and they make it around me too. Because I'm a, a <laughs> little bit picky, and they they make it to what they I like. They make the best cinnamon rolls. Oh yeah, desserts. <laughs> Burgers with no onions, all oh, they're amazing. They love him, so whatever they can do for him to come over and hang out and do games. But was that stressful for you to meet him that first time? It step? was a little stressful. But I feel like it's always scary. There's no way yeah. that that can't be not like. But your family awkward. could not be more chill. And more just, fun. They're just a little sometimes hard to understand because you still have the language barrier and trans stuff yes. gets lost in translation, and then you don't really know if that's what they meant. Because they all start talking German to each other, and I'm like, are then they talking really about me? What are they talking about? <laughs> Say something German. He's got to learn it in let's, a little bit of German, so he's not completely lost. Let's say a sentence in German. What sentence Say, I hear? hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Ich hoffe, ihr habt alle einen schönen Tag. My German is a little bit rusty, so don't judge me on my German, because <laughs> I did live in the US for like 13 years, and don't have really many German friends. But I feel like there's been so much stuff that's happened in our story. So I know we probably hadn't said it all. Mm -hmm. So if you're curious about anything, or if you have questions, comment below. Boom. We'll try to answer them on the Q&A coming up soon. Mm -hmm. But I felt like other than me putting a ring on it, that's all I can, it's about, that's the story. That's where the story's ending right now. But guess what's coming soon? A wedding. The and wedding ring. details. Yes. And I could, let me tell you, just a little bit, because I know we put out the engagement video, but really fast. It was amazing. Surprised her 100%. She did not know I was in town. She thought I was working on my brother's house in Nashville. Voila. She thought she was doing a photo shoot, came out, was shocked. I was, was shocked so that you were shocked. just in town. And then I was, I mean, I just opened the door to you proposing to me, so yes, that was shocking yes. too. And it was really cool because my parents got to be there. Your mom got to be there and witness. it was really fun. It was really cool. Was so so cool. I know y'all probably got some more questions. So if y'all do, comment below, like, subscribe, whatever you want to, because we cannot wait to share more stuff with y'all.